Hello, class. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to another day, another class. Another opportunity to grow and learn. How are you? How was your day? It was a little, little busy. A little busy? What did you do? Well, I I did it for the uh, day. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> don't tell me that you don't remember. What did you do on your day? People, people. So it was like you, you don't uh, remember. Uh -huh. I, I, uh, I watched uh -huh. my chihuahua. <laughs> okay, you watch you wash your chihuahua. So in yeah. that case, you say I shower the dog. Uh, so you say I shower. I, for, the dog. Uh -huh. I, for, I forget it. Yeah. Mi hamster and ultimately. Yeah, I, it is. It is almost Christmas, so that's why it is thinking about Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh no well welcome everybody thank you Gladys for sharing that you shower your dog today Josue welcome Rosita Jenny Ever Astrid Carlos Alfredo Sandrita Lily welcome it is, a, it is a great happiness to have you here oh look at that beautiful baby hello your little baby. Oh, look. Hi. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Hey, what a beautiful. I have a see, uh, thick mouth. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my God. Six months. What a beautiful mm -hmm. thing. I remember when my baby was six months. Ah, and it's like this, five, five years. So it's like, yeah, it, it, it goes very fast. So time goes very, very, very fast. So enjoy, enjoy every single moment with your little baby. Well, everybody, welcome. Thank you very much for your cameras. Keep them on, remember. Josue, how was your day? It's a very exciting teacher. A very exciting day, really. Tell me yes, what did you because, do? Because Argentina classified ah, to the final. <laughs> That's why I know, right? Yes, because they yes. won. Uh huh, for sure. It's a very, uh, they a very won. happy <laughs> It was a very happy day, for sure. So, yeah. for many people, because many people like a lot uh, to watch this type of games and they really enjoy them. So, congratulations to all the ones who like soccer and who like Argentina and all these things so congratulations I who forgot the, the homework aha uh -huh, you forgot the homework you see my, my brain is <laughs> okay well yeah I, I imagine right and I imagine that you have a lot of things to do during your days but that's why I decided to say like okay I'm going to start with that for today right who investigated a little bit about the words from the vocabulary that we started yesterday? Who had the chance to actually investigate a little bit? Me, teacher? No, teacher? Me, teacher. Okay. Jose Arturo, what did you investigate? Um, um, some of this, these words. Uh huh. Um, are a different phrases. Okay, they are they are phrases exactly, right? Even when they are yeah. compound, they are different phrases. For example, you cannot actually actually use them separate because when they are together, they give a different meaning to uh, the phrase, right? For example, yeah. when you say effort, it's like you know the word effort, right? But if you say make an effort. I will make an effort. It's like an extra thing, right? You can you can actually do an effort, right? 
to effort on something. Yo me puedo esforzar. But when you say like make an effort, you do something extra, right? You go beyond, right? You can say, ah, oh, yeah. You can say uh, alive. Uh -huh. You can say run, run an office, run for an office, right? In this yeah. case, when you say run for an office, it's because you are looking for a position in the office, right? To lead a life. You can say, ah, the, the meaning of life. You say like, yeah, life is vida, right? That's the meaning. But if you say lead a life, it is like you are the leader of a group of people or your own life, right? And also the rules, you can say, ah, yeah, the rules. Yeah, yo sé que son como los reglamentos, right? But if, you, if I say stick to the rules, it means that you have to obey the rules, yeah. right? So you say like, ah, one way. You say like, yeah, mi camino. But if I say getting one's way, yeah. it's like one's when way. someone messes up in your life, right? Cuando alguien se mete en tu camino. And it is not like, it, it, like for example, if you are in a car, right? And you are on your, on your way on the car and someone goes like, yeah, yeah. hey, you got on my way, right? A meal, for example, meal is comida, un, un tiempo de comida. But a substantial, a substantial meal, it is a big meal, right? It's a very, very nutritious and big dish, right? You can say like, ah, oh, yeah, this is my lunch, right? Un pan con frijoles. And it's like, yeah, it's my lunch. Eso voy a almorzar ahora. But a substantial meal, it's like chicken, salad, rice, potatoes, a lot of fruit, a yogurt, a dessert, right? That's a substantial meal because it's a lot of food, right? Uh, in this, <laughs> that's a buffet, right? Sorry that I, I I added a G there. This G doesn't have to be there. Creo que se fue ahí un typo. Eh, esa es una palabra nueva también, right? A typo. What is a typo? A typo is a mistake that you do when you are typing. That's a typo. It's like, yeah. ah, un error de dedo. A typo. So in this case, esta G no va ahí. Sorry. Sorry for that. Yeah, this, yeah, it's forbidden. This G is forbidden. Strictly forbidden. Estrictamente prohibido, prohibido. right? When you say, uh, for example, to learn the hard way, what is to learn the hard way? Mm, de la manera más dura. Exactly. When <laughs> it, there is that it, there is a, a Salvadorian phrase for this that is like. Si no me haces caso, la vida te va a enseñar. And you say, you have to learn the hard way. And then your mother says, I told you. I told you, they say. And then you are like, ah, mama. <laughs> I told you. You learned the hard way. And to make one's way, it is like to do the things the way you say. That's the way I do it, you say to make one's way. To have access is to enter, right? To run smoothly when everything goes perfectly fine. Everything is running smoothly in my life, you say. Todo va de maravilla. Everything is running smoothly. Nice and easy. It is scary sometimes. Cuando todo va bien, algo va mal. <laughs> so you never know. And you are like, mm, strange. Do the shopping, right? When you do the shopping, do you like to do the shopping, people? No, I don't like it. You don't like to do no, the shopping? No, it, it is just relaxing sometimes. I love it. I, I, I like it, to do the it, shopping. It depends. It depends. Yeah. In, in my case, I don't like it because it's stressful because I want to buy expensive things or <laughs> the cheaper than likes that's yeah <laughs> i always say the same right i love to the shopping you love to do the shopping you uh-huh oh, um uh, ah yeah the ba baby's clothes right baby's clothes or, or clothing for the baby i love that you know, I love to do the shopping alone. 
uh, alone. I love to do the shopping alone because I can go and I can see in a very relaxed way. But when you are with people doing the shopping, it's like, ya terminaste, te falta algo, ¿qué me vas a llevar? Y ahora, ¿y qué te falta? Lo voy a traer yo, y nos vamos. I, it's like, oh, I hate that. I love to go to Dollar City and do the shopping alone. Checking on things that I don't need, but I want. <laughs> que no necesito, pero las quiero. Pasillo por pasillo. Exactly like that. To go and check, it's like, oh, look, oh, nice. And even when I don't buy anything, right? I like to do the shopping. And for sure, to ease the pain. What is the meaning of ease the pain? To lower the pain. That is to ease the pain. Para bajar el dolor, right? To ease the pain. Como calmarte. Exactly, right? To ease the pain. That is the meaning of that. What about the next one? Which, which is another one that you investigate? Hmm. Um. Uh -huh. made, a, made a mistake. To made a mistake. What is the meaning of made a mistake? Um, cometer, cometer, error. Un error. cometer un error, right? Okay, it is to make a mistake, right? To make a mistake is cometer un error. That is the meaning of that. Very good. Let me see. And uh, finally, what do I have? Uh, okay, a fast car, you know what it is, right? A fast car. To get a divorce, you know what it is as well, right? Everything is like, dun, 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 and then cha-cha-cha, bye-bye. Bitter cold. What is the meaning of bitter cold? Frio. Huh? Frio. Aha, but it's really cold, right? It's bitter yeah, cold. Mm -hmm. It is? Es como el frío intenso. Exactly. Oh. It's a very, very, very strong. Yeah. It is really horrible. I don't know if you have ever experienced it. No sé si algún día han tenido la oportunidad de, de, de experimentar un frío. Pero frío, 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 frío. Then you say like, oh my God. <laughs> God, no. It is, yeah. it is really horrible. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Jose, Jose Arturo, how cold was it? ¿Qué tan frío estaba? Mm, uh, we, we can't touch um, um, uh, something or, of metal because our hands Pain. Horrible. I, I, I know. Once I had the opportunity to be in Washington and it was minus 10 degrees. And it was so mm. cold that if you stay calm, you could start freezing. No te podías quedar quieto porque te empezabas a congelar. It was so horrible, but it was so cold that it was like... <laughs> and one friend had her hair and her hair, her hair was wet and then the hair started like freezing up and then it was like Pick! a piece of hair on her hand and I was like entra al hotel entra al hotel que se te está congelando el pelo it was so horrible because it was extremely cold it was extremely cold it was bitter cold right to do the work okay in some cases you know that you have to work but in some cases you have some work to do and you have to do the work, right? Not just pretend that you are doing something, right? To breathe crime, what it is, what, what is the meaning of breathe crime? Crimen de raza. <laughs> do you have any other, do you have any other definition for breathe crime? Right, to breathe crime, any other definition? Como crimen de, oh, de odio o así. Sorry? Como un delito de odio o algo así. Right, yeah, it's something like that. It's like cuando, cuando haces algo mm -hmm. con, con, con odio, right? <laughs> delito de odio. It is like a criminalidad in general, right? To breed crime. Mm -hmm. It is like criminalidad. But it's like in big levels, right? That it's a meaning of breed crime. Let me see the next one. Uh, pitch black. What is the meaning of that? 
What is the meaning of pitch black? Uh -huh. Pitch black. Tono what is negro. that? What? Tono negro. Aha, uh -huh. but in, in a meaning, in a phrase, what is the meaning of that? Let's, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find a better definition for that. Keep investigating. Um, um, uh -huh. um, the, the most difficult part of them. The most difficult part of? Of something. Okay, pitch black is like completely complicated, right? It is completely dark. When you say pitch black, it is darker than the darkness. <laughs> it is totally dark. For example, pitch black can be like, for example, a situation that it's complicating more and more and more. And you say, oh no, everything is turning pitch black. It's like, todo se está tornando como más, más oscuro. So you say like, it is pitch black. It is darker than the darkness. Más oscuro que lo oscuro. But in the, in the, like in the, like in the suspense side, right? That if you say, for example, eh, there is a moment on which the night is totally pitch black. El momento más oscuro de la noche, ¿saben cuál es? What is the darkest um, moment of the night? Is it night? Mm, something like that. Because no. the darkest moment of the night is just about uh, the sunrise. Justo cuando ya va a empezar a amanecer. That's the, the dark. Right? Es el momento más oscuro. And then it starts the sunrise. So that is the pitch black moment of the night. Totally dark. Desperately jealous. Do you know what's the meaning of jealous, right? Jealous. Deloso, Deloso. right? But desperately jealous, toxic. <laughs> toxic, <laughs> right? It is like when when it is, it's, it's not normal, okay? It is not normal anymore. And then you say, mm, this is horrible. I don't like it, right? when everything is turning a little bit horrible and then you say, mm, maybe not, <laughs> not anymore. You say. So it, it happens, right? Desperately jealous, it is a moment on which everything is turning really, really mm, like sick. Everything is turning a little bit sick. And you say, mm, no gracias, I don't like this anymore. Have you ever been into a desperately jealousy relationship? Mm. No? Yes. <laughs> that yeah. you say like, come on, what's going on? <laughs> no comments. <laughs> <laughs> no comments, right? And it's okay, right? But that is desperately jealous. It is not normal anymore, right? And let me see one of the last ones that we have. What is the next one, people? A piece, of advice. Advice. a piece of advice right what is a piece of advice a exactly right when when you give a, a piece of advice right you give un consejo right when you are giving a piece of advice it is un consejo right that is a piece of advice that is the meaning of that that is a piece of advice do you like giving pieces of advice or receiving pieces of advice? Both cases. Both cases. Both, Both cases are possible, right? Depending on the person and depending also on yes. the situation, right? Depending on the person and on the situations. Well, so we are going to continue a little bit here. And in this case, we are going to work a little bit on requests. In this case, we were asking for favors before, right? Here, if you remember, yesterday we were asking for favors. Could you please, would you mind, right? We were doing this yesterday and we were asking for favors, right? And we were also covering the part of giving reasons, compliments, returning a favor, accepting an apology, right? Giving a gift, right? And in this part, we were also working a little bit on that one. But right now, here we have 
requests. In the requests, it's like you are passing a message from someone to someone, right? What? You are just passing a message. And Where? if you say, for example, uh, people, if you see teacher Nati, uh, could you tell her to give me the grades of my exams, right? Oh, could you tell teacher Nati uh, to send me my, my grades? That is a uh, request as well, right? But an indirect request is like, if you see Nati, tell her that uh, I need help, right? Si la ves, decile que, or dile que. This is the type of requests. We are going to listen to uh. these requests and you are going to complement them with ask or tell, right? Tell. So you have to listen. You can say, could you ask Nati to do something? When you use ask, it's because you are waiting me to do something with your message, okay? Cuando usamos la palabra ask, can you ask Nati to call me? It's like, la persona está esperando que yo haga algo con su mensaje, right? But if you say, can you tell Nati that, uh, I don't know, Claro was calling her all the morning? I said, like, okay, thank you very much. Okay, solo me va a llegar el mensaje, pero ahí yo me lo quedo. But if I say, can you ask Nati to call me back? It's like, ¿le puedes decir a la Nati que me llame? And so like, oh, yeah, yeah. O le puedes pedir a Nati que me llame. O sea, la otra persona va a estar esperando que yo haga algo con su mensaje. Okay. Can you ask Nati to give me my cell phone back? Because she has it. Or if it's like, can you tell Nati that I sent the cell phone for her? It's like, ah, okay, thank you very much, right? And that's it. That is the difference between ask and tell. Le puedes pedir when you use ask. And can you tell? Le puedes decir, right? But it's like, I can, she's going to do something or not, right? But that, that depends on me, okay? So that is the main difference between tell and ask. Let's listen to the phrases. And then we are going to complement the sentences. On your notebook, please write from one to six and you are going to write ask or tell, depending on what you listen, okay? Dependiendo de lo que escuchen, from one to six, van a escribir ask or tell on the sentences, okay? And then we are going to read all of them together, okay? Do you have your notebooks ready? Let me try the audio. Page 19, yes. exercise nine. Can you listen? <laughs> people yes teacher okay. yes. yes yes good part a listen to the requests people make at the school where mary martin teaches complete each request with ask or tell mm -hmm. one if you see mary can you tell her that she left her phone in my car two if you see Mary, could you ask her whether or not she is coming to the teacher's meeting? Three. If you see Ms. Martin, can you ask her if she's graded our tests yet? Four. If you see Mary, please tell her not to forget the students' reports. Five. If you see Mary, could you ask her to find me in the cafeteria after her meeting? Six, if you see Ms. Martin, would you ask her what time I can talk to her about my homework? Listen again. Complete each request with ask or tell. One, if you see Mary, can you tell her that she left her phone in my car? Two, if you see Mary, could you ask her whether or not she is coming to the teacher's meeting? Three. If you see Ms. Martin, can you ask her if she's graded our tests yet? Four. If you see Mary, please tell her not to forget the students' reports. Five. If you see Mary, could you ask her to find me in the cafeteria after her meeting? Six. If you see Ms. Martin, would you ask her what time I can talk to her about my homework? Okay. And do you need to listen again? ¿Necesitan escucharlo la última vez? 
No. Um, no. No. Okay. What about mm -hmm. number one? Can you give me the complete sentence, please? If you see. Um, Mary, can you tell her that she left her from the car? Can you can you tell her that she left her phone in my car? Okay, maybe she's looking for the phone, right? And she doesn't know. Tell her that she left the phone in my car. Okay. Dile a ella que está que lo dejó en mi car. Okay. Number two. If you see Okay, if you see Mary, could you ask her whether or not she's coming to the teacher's meeting? It's like, si, si, o no va a venir, okay, whether or not, si va a venir o no, right? Could you ask her whether or not she's coming to the teacher's meeting, right? Very good. Number three. If you see Mr. Martin, can you ask her if she rather go to shit? If you see if you see Mrs. Martin, can you ask her if she is greater our tests yet? Yeah. If she has greater our tests yet, right? Because I need I need to know, right? Can you ask her? Le puedes preguntar si ya calificó los exámenes. Can you ask her if she has greater our tests yet? Great. Yes. Number four. If you, if you see Mary, please tell her not to forget the student's report. Or not forget the student's report. If you see Mary, please tell her not to forget the student's report. Right? Very good. Tell her not to forget the student's report. Number five. If you see Mary, call you ask her to find me in the cafeteria after her meeting. Okay, if you see Mary, could you ask her to find me in the cafeteria after her meeting? Good, and number six. If you see Mrs. Martin, Martin, would you ask, would you ask her, her what time, what time I, can I can talk, talk to her, 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 her about my homework? homework? If you see Mrs. Martin, would you ask her ask what her time what time I can, I talk, can talk to her about, about, about my homework? Okay. Based on this, based on this example, right? I need you to take the first one. I need you to take the first one here, this one. Agarremos el primero. If you see Mary, can you? And the first one was tell, right? Tell. So we're going to add tell, tell here. Can tell. you tell, right? We have tell. Tell her that she left her phone in my car. Okay. Hagan de caso que me andan buscando a mí. Pero mándenme otro mensaje. Ocupen la misma estructura. If you see Natty, can you tell her that? And give me a message. Invent one. Solo sigan la estructura. Solo cambien el final que dice She left her phone in my car. Esta es la que vamos a cambiar. Right? We are going to change this one. That she... Okay, that's okay. And you're going to finish the message. This part. We're going to change it. <clears throat> Can you tell her that she forgot my beer's day? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> If you see Natty, can you tell her that she forgot my birthday? Uy. <laughs> okay, sorry, Carlos. When is your birthday exactly? <laughs> uh-huh. If you see Natty, can you tell her that? That, that she forgot to send the homework. the homework. That she forgot to send the homework. Ayer mismo les mandé la foto. <laughs> that she forgot to send the homework. Ooh. Okay. Uh huh. If you see Natty, can you tell her that he he found my computer? Can you tell? Okay. Can you tell her if she found my computer? In this case, ¿qué tendríamos que usar? 
Ok, vamos a poner esa oración. Sí, Let, sí, sí. Ok, sí, wait, wait, wait. Not, sí. No, no, no. no. Ah. Ok, espérenme, le voy a poner, <risa> vamos a ponerla en contexto. Eh, ok, if you see Nati, I'm going to write it here. If you see Nati, can you tell her? Can you, ok, tell her if she found my computer. Ok, esa es la oración que me dijeron. ¿Cómo tendría que ser? Porque aquí se lo traducimos es, si ves a Nati, le puedes decir si ella encontró mi computadora. Ajá, maybe in Spanish is correct, but you cannot use tell. You say, can you ask? Can you ask if she found my computer? And you don't use her, right? Can you ask if she found my computer? Right? Le puedes preguntar si encontró mi computadora. So that would be something different. And the meaning would be different. Si no, decirle que si encuentro, que si encontró mi computadora. That's very Spanish, right? Can you ask if she found my computer? So that would be something different in English, right? In this case is ask. Let's see the next one. Let's use another example, right? We are going to use another example with uh, this one, number four. If you see Nati, please, number four was tell. Please tell her not to forget what uh -huh. her. Don't forget. Um, help me on the platform. Okay, don't forget to help me on the platform. Hey, the platforms are ready, people. <laughs> ya la plataforma está completada <laughs> totalmente. Right? Good. Can you ask her not to forget what? ¿Qué es lo que no tengo que olvidar? No, 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 where? ¿A dónde lo puedo encontrar? If you see Nati, could you tell her to find me? Or could you ask her to find me? Where? In the cinema. In the cinema. Good. Where else? In Where the else? park. In the park. Uh huh. In the beach. At, at the beach. At the beach. Okay. At the beach. Um, Where am I going to find you, people? Uh, on on Zoom meeting. Where? In the on Zoom meeting. Meeting. <laughs> In the yeah. Zoom meeting, right? I am going to be waiting for her. I am going to be waiting for her in the Zoom meeting. Okay, I will be connected. You say very good. So, in the last example, let me see. Um. I think we are okay with those examples. I am going to go back here and I am going to show you a little bit on the book. Ah, before everything, I will call the attendance. Could you tell the teacher not to forget to call the attendance? And I won't do it, okay? If you see Nati, please tell her not to forget the attendance, okay? That is important. That is like, if you see. In this way, we are asking for requests and you are waiting for the person to tell the message to someone, right? Or you can use it in other cases. For example, if you go to the kitchen, can you please bring me a sandwich? And it's like, ah, okay. Could you please bring me some soda if you go to the kitchen? It's like, ah, <laughs> levantate, anda trae la voz. <laughs> you say, no, please, Something come nice. on. <laughs> Anything else? A, a little sandwich or a piece of sweet bread. It's okay. <laughs> Un pancito. I will call the attendance right away and then we continue. Let me see. Alejandra Cristina. Here. Thank you. Astrid Michelle. Blanca Estela. Okay. 
Okay, this is zero. It's not two. Eh, Carlos Alfredo. Present. Claudia Janet. Ever de Jesús. Hey, en Ever. Gabriel Stephanie. Teacher. Gladys Jimelda. Present. Griselda Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Jasmine Vanessa. Joaquín Ruperto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Arturo. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joaquín. Eh, Jose Manuel. Josué Isaías. Present teacher. Thank you. Lilian Estela. Present teacher. Luis Fernando. Present teacher. Luis Roberto. Thank you. Present. Madeline. Manuel Aristides. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Thank you very much. And let me see. Olivia Emanuel. Present teacher. Paola María. Thank you. Present. Rosa Esmeralda. Present. Sandra Cecilia. Thank you. Walter René. Jenny Maritza. Walter Cito, not here. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Teacher. Yep, Astrid. I'm present. But I, I have a problem with the computer. Okay, thank you, Astrid. Thank you very much. Blanquita? No, right. We don't have Blanquita today. Okay. So if I didn't call your name or if you didn't answer, let me know and I am going to change your attendance. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, in this case, we have a different examples. Let me share them with you here on the book. On the book, I have a other requests. Here, as you can see here, we have, could you, Jeff, that uh, Tony is having a party on Friday? What are you going to do here? You are going to use ask or tell, okay? Tell. In this tell. case, you will tell. say tell, tell. right? Tell. Could you yeah. tell Jeff that uh, Tony is having a party on Friday night? Number two, Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday. Would you ask? Ask. ask, right? Porque necesitamos una respuesta. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you, him, not to be late? Tell. Ask. In this case, you can say ask or tell, right? Depending. Tell. Si ya tiene tell. la costumbre de llegar tarde, could you ask him not to be late? <laughs> <laughs> or is it like, could you tell him not to be late? In, in this case, we have the two options. Mm -hmm. If it is in El Salvador, ask. Could you ask. ask him not to be late? <laughs> please, again. <laughs> the next one, please. Jeff, that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Yeah. Tell, yeah. right? Could yeah. you tell Jeff that I owe yeah. him, le debo una disculpa, that I owe him an apology. The next one, can you, to return my call, I need to Can know when his report yeah. will be ready. Can you ask? Ask, ask yeah. right? Number six, could you, Jeff, whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? Could you ask? Ask, ask right? Could you ask whether he can, he can come? It's like, si viene, si puede o no, right? Could you ask? Very good job, my dear students. So, here you have the different statements that we have been practicing today in the class. And we have like indirect requests, right? With infinitives, with that, with whether, right? Or by a question word. In this case, we have been practicing all these ones, right? Tony is having a party. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party, right? In this case, you only use that. This is one of the most common ones. Could you tell Natty that I am here? Could you tell Natty that I will be waiting, right? Jeff, don't be late. Can you tell Jeff not to be late? In this case, you don't use don't be late. You say not to be, right? That is something important. 
yes or no questions. In this case, the yes or no questions you have here. Uh, Sofia, are you free on Friday? Can you ask Sofia if she's free on Friday? Right? Si esta libre el viernes. And you just change if, right? If she's free on Friday. Could you ask her, who is her in this case? ¿A qué, significa, a qué se refiere el her en esta oración? Ay, yeah. Sofía. A Sofía, hey. right? Hey. A Sofía. In this case, this her is Sofía. Let's see. Okay. Could you ask her whether or not? Si sí o no. <laughs> oh, si ya sea que sí o no. She has my number, right? Could you ask her whether or not she has my number? And with WH question, when does the party start? Okay. Can you ask Jeff when the party starts? You don't use does, right? But you use the S at the end. Sophia, what time should I pick you up? Can you, could you ask Sophia what time I should pick her up? Right? That is the form of the indirect request. To make your life simple and not to frustrate you that much, say the most common one that you will use is the first one. This is the most common one. It is very strange that you say like, could you ask her if she, whether or not has my number? Okay, could you ask her if she has my number? Okay, could you uh, ask her if, if she knows where do I live, <laughs> right? And the most common is that, or this one, not to be late, right? This negative, it's another that is the most common request. Or could you tell her that? And then you give the message, okay? So here we have a couple of examples based on this one. And you say, Nina, will you drive us to the party on Friday? In which category do you think this one will be? And here we have all these ones. Will you drive us to the party on Friday? How would you make it? ¿Cómo lo harían una, una request? ¿A quién le vamos a pedir el favor? A Nina. Nina. Uh -huh. Nina. Could you ask her, Nina, if... If she, if she, she drive us, if she drive us, uh -huh. if she drive us to the party on Friday. If she will drive us, right? If she will drive us. Si no va a llevar. Yes. If she will drive us to the party on Friday. In this one, Tony, how many friends can I bring to your party? You have a WH word. Tenemos una palabra con WH. Okay. Sería en esta forma la última. Oh, can you ask, ask Tony, Tony? How many friends can oh, I bring can to, the to, to the party? To the party. To the party, right? The party. How many friends can I bring to the party? Esta estaba en la plataforma. Sofia, are you going to the party with Jeff? This is a yes, no question. Mm -hmm. Sofía. Okay, pero voy, a, voy a borrar Sophie. mis... mis. You ask? There you go. Voy a borrar mis... Mi jeroglífico. No, there you go. <laughs> Are, is she trying to... to go? Could you ask Sofía whether... Whether or not she or not is she or not going... She, she's going... To the, to the party with the party Jeff. With, yeah. Okay, whether or not she's going to the party with Jeff. Okay, or you can say if she is going to the party with Jeff. Right, mm -hmm. the two options are possible. Let's do one more. Kevin, Kevin, did you accept the invitation to Tony's party? This is a yes, no question. Hmm. Can you ask Kevin? Can you ask Kevin? Kevin, whether or not, uh -huh. whether, whether or not party? he 
Accept. Yes, accept accept is, accept is, accept is accept very accept good. Inspired. Okay, whether or not he accept, accepted the invitation to Tony's party. And the last one, Mario, are you going to give Tony a gift? This is a yes, no question. Mm, okay, Sophia. No, Mario, no. Mario. Mario. <laughs> Can you ask Mario? Okay, if, here you have. Could you ask Mario? If she is going to give or giving. Uh, if she Tony is going a, to give uh -huh, Tony a gift. Tony, Tony a gift. Okay, can Tony. you ask Mario if he is going to give Tony a gift? Right? There you have. These are like kind of the requests. This is a little bit complicated, but we need uh, just a little bit of practice, right? You need to say like to match a little bit on the sentences, right? And just to make sure that you are transforming it correctly. Right, make sure that you know if it is an imperative, a just no question or a WH question to know how you are going to transform it at the moment of using it. And in this case, here we have a little reading. That is the last exercise that we have for this unit. Yes or no, right? Yes or no, that is the meaning of, that is the, the heading of this reading. And we are going to start by this one, right? We are going to read the first paragraph. Who can help me to read the first paragraph? Let's see. Me, okay, Lily, go ahead. And then Gladys. And then, pues pueden levantar la manita. Alejandra, good. Is it okay like that or do you need it bigger? Okay, lo vamos a hacer más grande. Para que no hay problema. Okay, let me just move it. Ya se lo arreglo, permítame. Let me just move my my work. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Lily. living in a foreign culture can be exciting, but it can also be confusing. A group of Americans who talk English in other countries recently discussed their experience, experiences. They decided that mis, miscommunication were always possible even over something as simple as yes and no. Thank you very much. Gladys, paragraph number two, and we're going to finish here. Okay. Um, on her first day in Micronesia, Lisa thought people were ignoring her request. The day was hot and she needed a cool drink. She went into a store and asked, do you have a cold drink? The woman there didn't say anything. Lisa refreshed the question. Thank you, Alejandra. You are going to finish here. Okay. Uh, still the woman said nothing. Lisa gave up and left the store. She later learned that the woman had answered her. She had raised her eyebrows, which in Micronesia means yes. Okay. She raised her eyebrows. She was like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> that means yes. Okay. Let's continue here. We are going to continue with Jenny. And you're going to go here. Paragraph number three. A <laughs> big one. This, remind, <laughs> this reminded Jan of an experience she had in Bulga Bulgaria. I don't know in English. Yeah, Bulgaria, yes. Bulgaria. She had gone to a restaurant that was known for its stuff, cabbage. She asked the waiter, she asked the waiter, do you have stuff cabbage today? He nodded his head. Jan eagerly well, but the cabbage never came in that country and no a nod means no. It's like no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it means the same in Bangladesh. It happened to me. Oh. <laughs> right, yeah. It means no. Hey, Griselda, go ahead. We are going to finish here. 
Okay. Tom had a similar problem when he arrived in India. After explaining some time in class, he asked his, his students if they understood. They responded with many different nods and shakes of the hair. Right? Imagine you say like, did you get it students? You don't know if it is yes or no, <laughs> right? Astrid, finish, please. With this one, you are going to go here. He assumed. He assumed some people had not understood. So he explained again. When he asked them if they understood, they did the same thing. <laughs> okay, Joaquin, finish, please, the paragraph. Okay, he soon found... So he soon found out that his student didn't did understand in India people not not as shape uh, they are here in different ways depending on where they come from. Have you have you to know where a person is from understand if they are indicating yes or no? Yes or no. You have to know where a person is from to understand if they are indicating a yes or a no. You know, I met a person from uh, Bangladesh and he was like all the time like uh, Nurul, he was, it was his name. He's like, and I said like, Nurul, did you like the food? And he said like, it was horrible. And I was like, but you, you like it. It's like, no, I didn't like it. And I was like, but you are shaking the head like this, and this is yes for me. And he said, no, 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 in Bangladesh, this is no. And this is yes. And it's like, <laughs> no, that's so terrible. Yeah, and in, in, it is very confusing. And in India, they, they do like, hmm. and this one for us is like, I don't know, right? And for them, it's like, it's okay. And it's like, <laughs> what's going on, right? It is very difficult to understand cultures. This one, the pronunciation of this one is discussed. Okay? Discussed. Miscommunications. Miscommunications. Micronesia. Micronesia. Right? Indonesia. Micronesia. Right? Micronesia. Micronesia. Question. Question. The next one. None. 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 Stuff. Cabbage. Stuffed stuff cabbage. Is relleno de repollo. Stuffed cabbage. Yeah. Eagerly. Eagerly. She eagerly yeah. waited. What is the meaning of eagerly? She was like, yay, I am going to have my cabbage. Yay. But nothing. It never arrived. Eagerly <laughs> waited, right? Como que le dijera un niño, I brought you a chocolate. And it's like, yeah. eagerly waited, right? And a nod is the movement of your yeah. head, okay? This is a nod and this is a shake, okay? Right? Uh, something, something. Nod. And you know, <laughs> curiously, when you close only one eye and you do this, this is a wink, right? A wink, it's like, ah. and this is a blink. When you close both eyes, it's a blink. Bye. And the, a wink is only one. Uh, <laughs> Un día alguien me dijo que el blink era el plural de wink. And I was like, Newton. tiene sentido, right? <laughs> the blink, <laughs> the plural form, the wink. Yeah. It, it's, it's nice. It's true, right? The nods and the shakes, right, of the head. The head, head, the pronunciation head. You have to know, right? You have to know where a person is from to understand if they are indicating yes or no. Imagine if they come to El Salvador and they do, they see you doing this. You have not. <laughs> si viene un americano, un europeo, donde sea en El, el Salvador, y le dice, hey, ¿dónde es el banco? <laughs> Where's the bank? <laughs> Where's the bank? Where's the bank? <laughs> I, I have to kiss her. And it's like, Tell me the, where the, is the, 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 Imagine if they say, okay, mm, 
<laughs> no, it's you. What happened to you? Uh, what's going on? What's wrong? To like, you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> or when someone is coming, that you say. Or if they say, I viene tu tío. And it's like, is your relative? Son familia? <laughs> no. Pensé que te dolía el cuello. <laughs> it's like, mm, mm. you don't know. So we have a lot of body language and we have to be very careful how we communicate with others, right? It is very, very complicated to understand the different types of communication from different people, right? Good. So, um, Lisa had a lot of difficulties, right? Because for sure, she was trying to communicate and many people did different things to say yes or not. And for sure, it is something that we need to learn. Any new vocabulary that you have here? Alguna palabra que no, no conozcamos o que sea nueva? Miscommunication. Mm -hmm. Miscommunication is the confusion in a message, right? And it's, eagerly, it's wait. eagerly, alegremente, impacientemente. The and the no, right? That... Stuffed cabbage or stuffed cabbage is repollo relleno or relleno de repollo. Ah, okay. Like <laughs> like the ones that you have here in El Salvador, right? Que en una hoja de repollo <laughs> ponen carne, papa y volados y les ponen así. That is a stuffed cabbage. Okay, and assume, when you say, when you assume, it's like when you think that something is going to be like that, right? He assumed some people had not understood and he explained again, right? In some cases, it's difficult to assume. So people don't assume, okay? You have to ask. What is the meaning of it in line number two, paragraph one? Living in a foreign country can be exciting, but it can also be confusing. What is the meaning of it here? It's. Puede ser confuso. No, no, pero a qué se refiere la palabra it en, este, en esta oración? Living in a foreign country can be exciting, but it can also be confusing. Foreign cultures. A vivir en o el país. Pero, Cultures. Uh -huh. What is the subject of the sentence here? Foreign Living in a foreign country, in a foreign culture. Okay, this is the subject of the sentence. Ese yes. sería el sujeto de su oración. Living yes. in a foreign culture can be exciting, but it can also be confusing. It, in this case, means living in a foreign culture. And you use it for you not to repeat. Y lo usamos para no repetirlo. Living in a foreign culture can be exciting, but living in a foreign culture can also be confusing. It would be like a lot of repeating, right? It, and you rephrase it. What about there in paragraph one, line four? There. Let me see. Their experiences. What is the meaning of this there? A group of Americans who thought English in other countries recently discussed their experiences. ¿A qué se refiere there? A group of Americans. Very good. A group of Americans. Very good. What about her? In paragraph line. In paragraph, in paragraph. In paragraph one, line 14. Paragraph two, line 14. El amor. Por eso no se enamoren, ya ven. It's very <laughs> difficult. This one. Her request. On her first day in Micronesia, Lisa thought people were ignoring her request. Lisa. Lisa, Lisa. right? You are talking about Lisa. And that country. Paragraph three. Okay, here you have. And... Let me see. In that country. Bulgaria. Uh, this Bulgaria, Bulgaria, right? Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Because she had gone to Bulgaria before. And the last one that we have here, the same thing. 
Paragraph okay. four. Let's see. The same thing. It is line number 10. Let me yes, see. I, I had it, right? The same thing. He did the same thing. He did the same thing. It's right here. When he asked again if they had if they had understood, they did the same thing. They asked. They responded with different nods and shakes. Uh -huh. He assumed some people had not understood. So he explained again. When he asked again if they understood, they did the same thing. They did if the nods and shakes. and shakes, right? That is the meaning of the same thing. Hicieron la misma acción. So in some cases, you have to analyze the paragraphs a little bit further, right? No es solo de leer el párrafo y decir, ah, that's it, right? You have to analyze a little bit to understand what's going on in this. So it's a little bit of critical reading. I really love when students actually go beyond the paragraph. It's not like, ah, ya lo vi, ya lo leí, pronunciation, that's it. No, I need you to understand what you are actually reading. Es mucho so, para mi <laughs> no, but it's okay. <laughs> you did it. You see, tomorrow we are going to do a comparison between past tense and past continuous, right? So if you can refresh a little bit on this one, go a little bit and refresh the rules of past simple and past continuous, that will be perfect, okay? Si pueden ir a dar una repasadita ahí de que era el past continuous, que es el past simple, so we don't go over the rules again, it will be fantastic, okay? So this is the topic for tomorrow. We are going to study this and the time is over, my dear students. El tiempo vuela cuando nos divertimos. <laughs> I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Thank you, Ever. You are here now. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow, my dear students. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Night -night. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.